Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, SSS Sniper Wolf. What do these people all have in common besides exploiting kids for money? They have all been on YouTube for a very, very long time. And when a YouTuber's been making videos for long enough, you kind of just imagine them as just a YouTuber, like that's their entire life and all they are. But there was a time where these famous YouTubers were just regular people. You know, they grabbed a camera, decided to post a video, and hope for the best. And I want to investigate that today. So I'm going to be going across all of the popular YouTubers and watching their first video to see how far they've come. Let's begin. Starting off with Mr. Beast. Currently, he runs illegal lotteries and gets kids obese, but what did he do before all of this? How did Mr. Beast start his YouTube career? Let's see. All right, Mr. Beast, let's see before he got 318 million subscribers. His first video was worst Minecraft saw trap ever. Yeah, before he was making videos advertising to Minecraft kids, he was the Minecraft kid. That's very ironic. So let's see this phenomenal oh, okay. Minecraft content. From Saul, before you can advance, you must flip every switch and kill all the monsters that come out. If you try to open the door without killing them, you will explode. I mean, I can see why he got 300 million views. I mean, if this video were made in 2024, he would have been like, I made the worst Minecraft saw trap ever with like a bunch of explosions and sound effects. So crazy to see how far Mr. Beast come. It only took him 12 years. Next up, we got I Show Speed. Now this guy might be one of the most popular influencers in the world right now. He's doing like a world tour. Everyone's recognizing him. It's insane. But how did I Show Speed get his YouTube career started? Let's see. All right, I Show Speed is up to a remarkable 32 million million subscribers. Insane. And he actually started out his YouTube career as a 2K YouTuber. And his first video is simply titled 2K18 First Video. Let's see what we got. Oh, the intro. Do you guys remember like six, ten years ago when every single YouTuber's intro had like the flying around text with the copyrighted music? Good times. Good times. I, I did that as a child too. So let's see the YouTube content. Let me just turn the music off. Let's uh let's watch the 2K. So he seems to just be dribbling around and shooting. I don't know if this was like a test video or if this is what passed for content back then, but yeah, I, I, it's probably a good thing he switched over to streaming because I don't think there was much potential with this content. Very interesting to see. Next. Next up, we got Penguin Z Zero, aka Moist Critical, probably the most popular commentary YouTuber. And what's crazy about him is he's been on YouTube for a, such a long time, like 15 years. So let's see how he got his content started. All right, Mr. Critical. I'd say this is probably the one that's changed the least because like he still doesn't have any crazy titles or thumbnails. It's just like Sony hates Bloodborne and then it's a picture of the wet of the, the article. He's, he keeps it simple, which I respect. 17 years ago, he started YouTube. That is ridiculous. And it was Gears of War jetpack glitch. Let's see what it was. Look at the quality. I think this was genuinely in like, yeah, it could only go up to 240p that back then. That is crazy. I mean, just this is the content. Who, who wouldn't have guessed that he'd end up having 15 million subscribers? This is the content that people want to see. I wonder what his first video with commentary sounded like. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm doing another achievement. He sounds the exact same. Yeah, for Aliens vs. Predator, this one is for I like to keep this handy. Oh. How, how old was he? He must have been like 13 years old and he still sounded like this. That is insane. Next up, we got Logan Paul. And when you think of Logan Paul, you think, you know, the owner of Prime, WWE wrestler. But he actually started his YouTube career out as a vlogger. So let's see that. All right, Mr. Logan Paul. Apparently, he's living in Puerto Rico. I don't know when that happened, but whatever. His first vlog was The Road to Burning Man. So I'm pretty sure he did Vine before he did YouTube. So he made a bunch of like six second videos and then he switched over to YouTube and this was his first YouTube video. What is up people of the internet? My name is Logan Paul and welcome to my vlog channel. That's right, I'm vlogging now. You get to see more of me. Ha <laughs> ha sick, right? <laughs> and we would keep seeing more of him. <laughs> 
So you can clearly see why he got so popular. I mean, even from the beginning, he had the energy. He had, like, the editing's not terrible here. It, he was just destined to become very, very famous. Next up, we got SSS Sniper Wolf, who has made tens of millions of dollars just reacting to TikToks. But was she always a TikTok reactor? Let's find out. Now, what was she doing before she made classic hits like people who are having the worst day ever, only eating black food, dressed to impress, but I can only copy my real outfits. Before she made this great content, she was a Black Ops 2 YouTuber, believe it or not. Again, we're seeing the thing. A lot of YouTubers seem to have started out just by making gaming with no uh, commentary. Because back then, that's what killed on YouTube. I want to see her first video with, like, commentary. Hey guys, what's up? You're watching my top plays for the past few days, and I'll be uploading the series a lot, and... Yeah, I wonder why people subscribe. Okay, yeah, not, content's not for me, but, you know, gaming and girls, like, I'm sure plenty of Discord moderators loved this channel back in the day. Next up is Nikocado Avocado. Of course I had to include him in here, given he, he had one of the biggest YouTube videos of the year recently, but where did he start? Was he always fat? Was he skinny? Let's see. Nick's going to be the first example of, like, full 360, because as we'll see, his oldest videos, he was skinny too. His newest video, he's skinny. And then everything else is just a fat slob. So I'm interested to see how he talks back then. I haven't made a video for about one week now, and I have my reasons for that. I'm... A little uncertain on how- So I guess he has older videos that he deleted, so this isn't actually his first video. To properly begin this video, because there's a lot on my mind, and it comes from different- it comes from various angles. The first angle is that of Henya Mania making a video saying that she's- I mean, it's- what's interesting to me is, and the reason why more people- I didn't see it coming, but why more people should have known that his, like, idiot was just a character, because he's very well-spoken, he seems very intelligent, and it doesn't make sense that, like, the mukbang would just make him stupid, so clearly it was a character the whole time. Now, this next channel is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to look at Defuck Boom, which is the channel responsible for <sighs> Skibbity Toilet, and they have actually made 73 parts to the Skibbity Toilet franchise over the past couple of years, but let's see how they got their YouTube uh, started. All right, the Benito Mussolini of YouTube. 44 million subscribers for making videos such as Skibbity Toilet 77 Part 1, Skibbity Toilet 77 Part 2, Skibbity Toilet 77 Part 3. All of these getting so many views. It's insane. What did he do before Skibbity? And it was Big Smoke. So he's always made like these types of videos. Let's see. Take your order, please. I'll have 45, number nine. This was a huge meme back in like, what was this, 2016? The two number nines, Big Smoke's order. So I guess he capitalized on that and now he's capitalizing on Skibbity Toilet. So. This guy knows what he's doing. He may be the king of brain rot, the CEO, in fact. Um, clearly, nothing has changed for him. Next up's gonna be that vegan teacher. Now she's not. She's probably the least popular one on this list. But the reason I wanted to see her first video is because, like, was she always like this? Let's find out. All right, this is gonna be as painful as it usually is to watch her videos, but I'm up to the challenge. Her first video is six years ago. The carrot and hummus wrap. All right, so what we know now is that she's always been insane and nothing has changed. I mean, some people, they're just, they're meant to do something in life and they're always going to do it. So props to her for, be, for being as consistent as she has in being so goddamn annoying. 
Next up is going to be James Charles, a makeup YouTuber who I know way too much about because I once did a video where I watched an hour straight of James Charles, to which I'm still recovering from. But how did James Charles start out his YouTube makeup empire? Let's see. All right, now we got James Charles. Some call him the CEO of gay. Lately, he's been up to, you know, obviously he's got the crazy good thumbnails, the good titles, long quality videos. But back in the day... Same stuff. I mean, another consistent YouTuber. His first video was Serpent Makeup Tutorial. I totally oh. was not watching that. Lord, here we go. Somehow even scarier looking than he is now. Ugh, that's so scary. Hi guys, my name is James. For those wow, he wasn't Hey Sisters. He used to be Hey Guys. I guess he wanted to, like, actually talk to his target audience, so he changed it to Hey Sisters. That was smart. For you who don't know me, I'm a 16-year-old makeup artist from 16? New York. 16? He looks like 20-something in this video. That's crazy. So he's been doing it since he was 16. That's kind of nuts. And lastly, I saved the best YouTuber for last. You all know him. You all love him. Let's just do it. Who was Orange Peanut five years ago? So a little bit of backstory on how this channel started. I made memes on Instagram. Well, not made. I stole memes on Instagram and posted them. I had like 50,000 followers on Instagram just by posting memes. And whenever I hit a subscriber milestone, I would do like a challenge on a live stream. And I decided to post them on YouTube so I could like keep them and you know, I wouldn't forget about them. So that is how the Orange Peanut YouTube channel started. And my first video was Orange Peanut versus a Jalapeno Pepper. The greatest content you'll ever see. Uh. In thrilling 480p. It's kind of black on the side, if you can see. That's probably not good. I don't know, like, genetically what my voice has been meant to do because I, I can be, like, really deep if I want to. Or I could have like my yelling voice like this. But when I was like 15, 16, my talking was just, it was very, it had a gay inflection for some reason. And you'll hear it when I talk. Like, I don't know what was going on. I've been straight for most of my life. So I don't yeah. know why I had such a gay voice. Uh, I wish, 30, I'm just going to wait a minute before I eat this. Before I eat this. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to swallow this. I was such a pussy loser. I couldn't even swallow. Ah, my mic! Editor, you can leave that in if you want. I couldn't even swallow a jalapeno. Like, seriously. The ch my challenges now are so much worse, but in the originally, I was just the weakest person imaginable. It's, it's insane. But hopefully, you guys like my content a little bit more. And fun fact for you, that actually, there is a legend in the comment section of this video. First Orange Peanut subscriber and comment and like and view. Unbelievable that he was able to do that and just now he'll live in, uh, not infamy, fummy, uh, for the rest of his life. So shout out to Oasis9729 for getting in quickly. But yeah, that's how I started out. Really, really bad content and now I'm just kind of bad content. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys learned something today. I know I did. It was very interesting to see how these YouTubers got started. But that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe Because he needs more money